Women, calcium and vitamin D. Many women, especially postmenopausal women, take those supplements. But News Channel 5 medical expert Dr. David Saria here joining us, the U.S. Preventative Service Task Force today, saying, hold on, we're not sure it does any good. Spell out to women yeah. what they're saying, first of all. Yeah, well, you know, this task force we've heard from before, it's the same task force that made the recommendation against PSAs in men and then also changing what we followed for a long time when it comes to mammograms in women over 40 or 50. What are they saying about calcium and Okay, well, D? with calcium, basically what we are saying now is that postmenopausal women over 40 would benefit from calcium supplementation as well as vitamin D. Now remember, this is a real problem. We have about a million and a half uh, patients every year, women, that are having uh, or sustaining a fracture, and about 22% of them are, are using calcium supplementation. But the U.S. Preventive Service Task Force is saying more than half of women in their 60s who take it may get no benefit at all. That's right. So the data is inconclusive. Matter of fact, there's not enough evidence to support its recommendation. So right now, they're removing that or taking that off the table. Because what they're saying is it's, it does not prevent fractures, and there's plenty of foods that we can eat on a daily basis that will provide you with enough of the, the calcium and vitamin Let, let's D Let's throw that, that list you up because you're raising an excellent yeah. point. Milk, yogurt, leafy greens, That's good right. sources of calcium. That's exactly right. If you're premenopausal, they're saying calcium and vitamin D. They don't have enough evidence one way or the other. So women hearing this are saying, wait, I've been doing this for years. What's the bottom line? Do I throw all my calcium and vitamin D out? What do I do? How do I approach it in a, yeah. in a simple, sensible manner? This is obviously one piece of data, and it's a resource that should be taken to heart. I think this task force is looking at some hard questions, you know, questions that we've looked at as gray throughout all these years, and it's important to revisit those. At this point, I would not throw your calcium or vitamin D out. Instead, talk to your doctor about your risk factors, where you are in that continuum as far as whether or not he or she thinks you'll benefit from it, and discuss it with him or her. They'll let you know whether or not it's beneficial for you. Dr. David Saria, as always, sensible, sound advice. Thanks for taking a minute welcome. to join us here on News Channel 5. Let us know what you